Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to play slash win your shootouts in Vigor. And if you don't know anything about shootouts, don't worry. This video is going to tell you most things that you need to know. I might miss one thing here or there, but hey, that's why the comment section is there. I'm going to go ahead and put a disclaimer here as well. This video is not about me, and it's not about what I do. It's about the overall mode in and of itself, and what I do in the video may coincide with what I'm trying to tell you through this here audio commentary. Without further ado, let's go. Shootout is a mode where it is essentially practice. Essentially practice. Because it doesn't matter how many times you die. You're going to respawn. The game gives you infinite chances for you to use your gun. There is no incentive for you to stay back in the corner and wait for somebody to come in front of you. This game mode is a free for all game mode. If you don't kill anybody, you're not going to get any points. You're not going to. Sure, I get headshot by this raincoat, but it's okay. Because look, I respawn anyway. And guess what I'm going to do? run straight toward them and get my and get my uh, stuff back because why the hell not this game mode is designed for you to shoot your gun but how do you win well there you go that's how you win you get points but then again there's a second proxy of kills first to 20 kills in this game mode wins or let me not say wins, more like ends the shootout. Whenever someone gets 20 kills, the shootout ends. Then the game says, who has the most points? And if you have the most points, but someone got 20 kills, guess what? You win. But how do you get points in the game? Well, you get 10 points for opening up a weapon box. You get 100 points for a kill, just like that. And you get 150 points for a headshot. That's it. It's quite that simple. Like I said, first to 20 kills ends the shootout. But at the end of the shootout, the game counts up how many points everybody has. And that determines a winner. Now, there is no point for you to be prone on a rooftop, in a bush, in a corner. There is no incentive for you to be doing that. Because all you're doing is allowing the guy who's actually running around and trying to find people to kill. You're allowing him time to do whatever he needs to do. And in this case, that means kill as many people as possible. You can afford to die in this game mode. You can afford to try something different in this game mode. You can afford, well, you, actually, you cannot afford to sit on a rooftop with an SG-1 sniping at people from downrange. That's what you cannot afford to do. Because chances are, the guy who's looking at you is smart as hell and knows exactly where you are. And also, chances are, he has a weapon that can pull off a headshot on you when you weren't even expecting it. Just like this. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you is this game mode is a free for all game mode. I told you how to get points and I told you how to get kills. You shoot your gun at them. That's why the game mode is called shootout. It's okay if you miss. It's okay if you don't kill them. You're going to respawn. Have another go. You crouch walking and being on a roof is not the correct way to play this game. You get points based off of your kills. If you don't get kills, you're not going to win. So get active, get out there, and see what you can do. And if you die, once again, it's okay. You're going to respawn. You're going to respawn. It's cool. Now, the passing mission should be made about healing because, you know, that's a very integral part of this game. The correct way to heal, you pull out your painkillers, Take them first, 
Then you take out your antibiotics, pop them. You're basically back at full health. That's how you heal. Painkillers first, antibiotics second. That's how you heal. But what if you spawn with a weapon and you don't want that weapon? It's okay. Find a weapon box, open it, get 10 points, trade up the weapon. Simple as that. Guys, this game mode is really simple and can be really fun. Check this out. So you see, I'm trying to figure out where's the guy that's shooting at me. And then I spot him. Headshot. This game mode is designed, is designed rather, to help you be a better player in terms of getting shot at and doing the shooting. You know? This game mode, like I said at the beginning of the video, is all reward and no risk. All reward and no risk. If you lose, that's fine. Have another go. You know what I'm saying? And like I keep telling y'all, there's no benefit to you sitting in a corner waiting for somebody to come in front of you. Because chances are, you're going to miss. And it's not due to your bad aim. It's due to how this game's gunplay works. If you don't lead in front of your target, you're not going to hit them. And if you're in a corner reacting to people running in front of you, the moment you fire is the moment when they realize, oh, he's right here. Okay, cool. Let me let him spray all this ammunition and then just come behind him and kill him. It doesn't matter. So, if there's three things I want you to take away from this video, it's this. Use your gun, walk around and try to find people, and heal. That's it. Try to find people, shoot your gun as soon as you see them, sure you're going to miss, sure you might get killed at the end, but it's okay. You are going to respawn. In my opinion, that's how you play shootouts in Vigor in 2023. This game mode is really fun. This game mode is really useful. It'll help you be a better player in your encounters. Thanks for watching. Peace.